In his new book, Stealing Our Democracy, How the Political Assassination of a Governor Threatens Our Nation, Don Siegelman offers up his version of the corruption charges and subsequent conviction that torpedoed his political aspirations. And it comes with a warning for everyone else. You know, what I want to do is warn the public that we need to make changes because if it could happen to me, it certainly could happen to just about anybody else. Back in 2006, the former governor was ultimately convicted on what he says were politically motivated felony corruption charges and sentenced to seven years in prison. After some years of appeals, he was finally released from prison in early 2017. He says through it all, he was able to examine some of the flaws of the justice system, one of them being the blanket of immunity enjoyed by prosecutors during grand jury proceedings. And the grand jury, keep in mind, is where the innocent uh, can be charged or the guilty can uh, be be declared innocent and they can walk free. So in order to, to have a check on truth, we need to have lawyers present in the grand jury to make sure the prosecutors are, are playing it straight. Siegelman will be at Page and Pallet Bookstore in Fairhope tomorrow night from 6 to 7 o'clock for a book signing and discussion where he says social distancing and other COVID-19 measures will be in place. Bill Riles, WKRG News 5.